So, according to your wellness chart, you should shave that mustache. Can I see that? Just shave it. You'll thank me later. Hey, what up, my Mateo? Okay. How's it hanging? Who you seeing? Oh, God, okay, can you please stop trying to set me up with your brother, okay? No offense. Maybe he just doesn't photograph well. Okay, look, I saw you at the movie theater yesterday with Jeff. <clears throat> just, I mean, please not talk about this here. Talk about what, Mateo? The fact that I saw you making out with Sandra's boyfriend? Shh! Okay, he's not her boyfriend. He's my boyfriend. What? I've been seeing him since October. That doesn't make any sense. No, you haven't. <sighs> That's us on a picnic. That's us at the pool in his hotel. That's us as Nick Nolte and Barbara Streisand in Prince of Tides. What about Sandra? She's just been saying she's dating him to get attention. Oh my god. That is... That is so... Smart. Sad. Sad, yes. Well, could you just please not say anything to anyone? It wouldn't be good if this got out. No, yeah, obviously. So I wonder if they'll last because of the huge age difference, but I'm really excited. Hey, Ames, guess what? Huh? Jeff's banging Mateo, and Sandra's insane. Don't tell anyone, though. Hey, Gare, guess what? So neither one of you thought it was worth mentioning that Sandra's been waking it up the whole time? Maybe it'll be good for everyone to know. Maybe Sandra will be happy. Yeah, because that's usually why people with low self-esteem commit to elaborate lies for weeks, because they just want the truth to come out. Okay, I can fix this. I just need to gather everybody who knows and then tell why them. Why aren't you listening to me? Just do nothing. It is the easiest advice to take. I do it, and I am thriving. Man, that is true. He's killing it. Killing it. So, she just invented the entire relationship? She's a maniac. Ew, I just realized that pair of Jeff's underwear that she showed me probably weren't even Jeff's. That's so gross. She's definitely out of wine club. Wait, you guys have a wine club? Yeah, we're trying to keep it small. Look, this really is none of your business. You know, if you don't even know the whole story. If you knew the whole story, you wouldn't think she was a maniac. What's the whole story? Don't do it. The whole story is that she did date Jeff. It was very intense, and then they broke up. Yep, they broke up. It happened on a Tuesday. See, confirmation. So she got dumped, but then lied and told everyone they were still dating? Why would she do that? Because she's a maniac. No, that is a good question, and we asked her that question, and what she said made a lot of sense. She told us that she's pregnant. <laughs> And the raptors have breached the fence. She's pregnant? Yes! Who's pregnant? Nobody. The maniac. Sandra? Sandra? That is wonderful. I knew it. You can tell by the glow. I always know. I'm going to go congratulate her. No, no, good. Uh, she doesn't want anybody to know yet, so we can't mention it to her. Yeah, we should probably wait till she inevitably starts showing. Oh, we could plan a baby shower. And what if the theme was babies? Or manufacturing. Oh, I know. Breaking Bad. <gasps> Arabian night. No one likes Arabian night. Okay, no baby shower, guys. You're making a big deal out of this, and she doesn't even know if she's going to keep it. <gasps> what? Ooh. No, you don't mean she's going to... Uh-huh. Yeah, she might do it on a Wednesday. Okay, we're good on the days. Great. Okay, uh, also, we have checked. We don't seem to have any training videos about not discussing abortion at work because we just thought it was so obvious. But you guys managed to surprise us, so good job. Woo! Don't lecture us on being responsible when we all know what you did to Sandra. Sandra? Who's Sandra? <gasps> Who's Sandra? Just the woman who's pregnant with your biracial child. In his defense, Sandra is extremely forgettable. Remember when we left her at Dave & Buster's on her birthday? Yeah. yeah. I'm not pregnant. What? what? Oh, what? God, am I too late? I'm very confused. Wait, so you didn't knock her up? No, I'm gay. Huh? Huh. Oh, yeah, right. You're gay, and I'm Lorenzo Lamas. Well, I am. I'm gay. But you're so... Blah. Well, wait, then who's dating Sandra? I made it up. <gasps> I haven't been dating anyone. I mean, nothing here pops at all. Why would you make something like that up? Because she's a maniac. At first, it was 
a misunderstanding, and then I just started liking the attention. For the first time in my life, I was a star. I'm the one who's been dating Jeff. <gasps> okay, the whole time, me, 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 me. Um, we were keeping that between us. I just don't get it. If you can be gay, that means anyone can be gay. Okay, well, you know, cat's out of the bag. <laughs> me and Jeff. Does anybody have any questions? Can we please keep this in this room? I'm not supposed to be dating anybody from one of the stores. So casual sex is okay, right? Because I've been banging Garrett on and off for a while now. <gasps> what? Ah, uh, that is correct. What? Um, and you, you didn't tell me? I'm oh, sorry, because we haven't told anybody. It's fine, I don't, I don't care. What has happened to this store? Me, I happened. This is me, this is my fault. I opened the cage or whatever. I've never seen Jurassic Park. What? <gasps> what? Okay, okay, that is not what we're dealing with right now. Look, I should not have gotten involved. Sandra, I'm really sorry. No, I feel great. No more lies, no more credit card debt from buying myself flowers. I can cancel the horse-drawn carriage. I almost told you a couple I times. I said it's fine. Hear ye, hear ye. I've come to deliver the fair maiden Sandra to good King Jeff. Right here. Couldn't get my deposit back. See you tomorrow. My lady. Thank you. Will you take me to the frozen custard place at the mall? 